All right, guys, welcome back to Dynasty Warrior 7, part 5 of Battle of Wandu. Let's do this. Yes. After defeating Lu Bu at Xiaopi, Liu Bei and his brothers were greeted warmly by Cao Cao. However, Liu Bei was unable to clear the uneasiness from his heart. He chastised himself for being too kind, too soft, and for not possessing the cold cruelty of Cao Cao. It was then that a secret order arrived from the Emperor. Cao Cao, Cao, Cao must, must be slain. slain. It was a cry for help from the Emperor himself, who had grown weary of Cao Cao's tyranny. Liu Bei thought to himself, if he were to slay Cao Cao, to whom he was so indebted, then he would be no better than Lu Bu. As Liu Bei struggled with his indecision, the order was given to eliminate Yuan Shu, who had attempted to usurp the imperial throne. Having bided his time in turning on Cao Cao, Liu Bei saw this as a perfect opportunity. Together with his troops, he led a rebellion in Shu. However, the chaos would once again prove cruel to Liu Bei. Cao Cao's massive army dealt his forces a resounding defeat. And during the course of the battle, he lost track of Guan Yu as well. The chaos continued to torment him, a man of unparalleled kindness and purity. And so he sought the help of Yuan Zhao. The one man who could oppose Cao Cao. He soon found himself on the fields of Guangdu, where Cao Cao and Yuan Shao were already engaged in battle. Wow. was awesome we're playing the moment of the scenery of the last video of part four <laughs> but this is part five all right guys none can match your glorious nobility my lord all right Cao Cao will be crushed before lord yuan xiao's might yeah i don't think so once Cao Cao is gone this land will belong to you my lord uh okay Cao Cao. For too long now, you have stood in my way. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Finally, oh, no. <laughs> I will rid myself of your meddlesome presence. Your pathetic army is nothing before me. Now you shall witness the power of the nobility. Oh, God, right in battle. <laughs> Come, Zhao Yu. Let's blow Cao Cao's army away. Bring it. And you must go and assist our allies. Hurry. Take that! Oh! 
Over my lord. What? You trial to flame. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Another obstacle in the path of justice has fallen before me. You are to report the Wucha at once. Oh no. Okay. His orders run up to obey at once. You're doing great. I will Shit. try to live up to your example. All right. Back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. Nice custom. On you, you're alive. Yeah, well, it looks like he's working for South South.
Come on, Lupe. Come on, my lord. And you are shallow too. Stand your ground, traitors. I will execute you where you stand. Did you really think we're gonna let you kill your Lupe? Bitch! Ow! You bought another one, bitch! Oh, that's what you One get. day you will pay for your crimes. It appears we have managed to give our pursuers the slip. It's good to see you safe, my lord. Don't worry about me. What about Guan Yu? Damn. That idiot. How could he fight for Cao Cao? I'll kill him. That is enough. But, brother! I will wait. Brother! We must have faith. I know in my heart that one you has not forgotten his oath. The heavens had completely abandoned Liu Bei. Without Liu Bei at Guan Du, Cao Cao emerged victorious. He seized the Central Plains and became the largest force in all of the land. Meanwhile, thanks to the efforts of Zhao Yun, Liu Bei was able to escape the clutches of Yuan Shao and Cao Cao. Searching for a land of his own, he called on Liu Yao of Jing Province. So well, then, Liu Bei has been, been abandoned by the fates. However, there were still Wang men who had not yet abandoned him. On you. Hmm. So he's really sided with Cao Cao. All right. You know, I always wanted to fight you one time. Zhang Fei, perhaps another time, my friend. What? On you, prepare to die. <laughs> Brother, at last, at last I have found you. One you. My place is here. Beside you, my lord and brother. Uh. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Our brother would never betray us. Deep down. I always knew that. <laughs> Liu Bei, a man for whom reality fell far short of his idealistic dreams. He desperately sought an answer to his problems. After Liu Bei fled to Jing, Liu Biao granted him the land of Xin Ye. For the first time since the chaos had begun, he finally had a place to call home. And there, Liu Bei quietly ruminated on his ambitions. His dream of helping to ease the people's suffering, the cruel reality that he had not accomplished nearly enough. He needed someone who could provide him with a way to turn his dream into a reality. The province of Jing, being located in the center of the land, was bustling with travelers coming and going. Despite its vibrancy, Liu Bei would not easily find his answer there. Then, suddenly, Liu Bei's days of peaceful reflection came to a crashing end. His rude awakening came at the hands of Cao Cao. 
who was practical to the point of cruelty and had no qualms about using power to take what he wanted. Together with Zhang Fei and his allies, Liu Bei stood before the encroaching threat of Cao Cao's army. Would his ideals be swallowed by the depths of Cao Cao's ambition? No. No, 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 no. That won't happen. Mighty armies now encroach upon Jing province. Cao Cao's methods are heartless and cruel. But what should I do? Maybe you're overthinking things. <laughs> you need to do things your own way. You'll always have us on your side. Interesting. If he had the sleeping dragon in his ranks, Liu Bei would be unstoppable. And who are you? <laughs> who are you? Alright guys, thank you for watching. This is part 5 of Dynasty Warrior 7. And Jian Ye will be in part 6 in the next video. Thank you for watching. I love you guys and bye bye.